Oh, holy shit. I haven't seen you guys in a while. I mean, I know you, I, I've been gone for a little bit of a while, but I mean, that's not by the point. And yes, I got a haircut, which looks like shit, but I got to deal with it because, you know, I'm not really responsible to myself, but you know how it goes. Anyway, uh, welcome back, guys. Uh, you know, there's just been trouble lately, so I, I got a little story to tell you guys. So I went to Mile High Comics and... Uh, I was just checking out some stuff that they had because I knew they were like doing this like event thing so I just went there and I just you know just wanted to see what shit they had I was there and then this this like this cute little little goth girl she she was in the store right and I kept glancing at her I was like ah I don't get a chance but then I noticed when I was looking when I was by the um the spawn stuff like the old vintage spawn stuff I, I caught her, she was looking at me, every time I would look up, she would look away, and then I would be like, oh, okay, and then, yeah, I, I, I still continued my shit, and she still kept looking at me, and, um, so, like, I ended up leaving the store because there was nothing cool to buy, so I, once, once I was heading my way to, uh, to the, to the, uh, entrance to the store to leave, she, like, she goes up to me, and she's like, hey, uh, I thought you were gonna queue, so can I have your number, and I was like, you want my number? And then she's like, yeah, because I thought you were pretty cute, so, and and that. And then, like, and I'm like, oh, like, uh, like, I was like, are you single? And then she's like, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, I definitely am. So I was like, oh, okay. I mean, like, I'm not going to, uh, I shouldn't really, like, fucking fuck with you guys. But, like, I, I think, you know, I mean, she was cute and all, even though she was, like, emo. And, but, I mean, I mean, she was cute. So I was like, yeah, I gave her my phone number. And that was that. And a couple of days later, she texted me, said hi. We took it back and forth, like for just a little bit of a while. And uh, and that's when she's like, "Oh, you know, like I get bullied a lot because I'm a virgin. So I was wondering if you wanted to do something because I'm home alone." And I'm like, "You? So you want me to? So she she said you wanted to come over. So like you want me to go to your house while you're home alone? <laughs> oh, okay." Okay, definitely. So she she sends me her address, and uh, I go, I, I drive over to her place, and I'm like, her, her her house looks pretty fucked up. It has like, I don't know, the, the paint looks all shitty. And I was like, uh, I mean, I'm not going to go in there for too long. I'm just going to go in there to see what's, to see what's up. So I, 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 I go and knock on the door. And then she's like, and then she opens the door, and then like, and she's like, oh, hi, and then, like, oh, hi, we greet each other, and then, like, I, I go in, I, I go in their house, and then, like, like, and all that, and then, and then all of a sudden, but before I even say anything, she starts to take off her clothes, and I'm like, whoa, 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 hey, hey, first of all, how am I gonna go down there if I know that it smells weird, because if you smell weird, and then if you smell good, then I'm gonna have to come back up, and maybe I have to leave, so she's like, Oh, no, no, no worries. So then she starts to take off her clothes, and I didn't think this through. Because I didn't get any protection, so... I was like, sorry, I, I have to go. Because, you know, I have to go eat dinner. So she, she makes a frown face and uh, and all that. And that was the last time I saw her, because I felt really uncomfortable. I, I, I blocked a number. And uh, that was it. Because I felt really uncomfortable on that day, but... You know, but um, yeah, I guess that was it. I mean, I just felt uncomfortable. But I know a lot of people when you feel uncomfortable because you know that's every guy's dream to smash a girl. But I mean, just it's always memories, you know. The first time, like I, what, what I was about to do it, I just walked out. But yeah, that's another. That's another story for another time. Uh, we're going to be checking out these uh, Marvel Legends, Ursa Major, Build-A-Figure Wave. I got the entire wave here. I know you might not see some figures, but I'm going to show you guys. So, I'm really, I'm super late on this wave. I'm really late. I really apologize, but I, this, this wave was just really cool. But, I mean, it's just awesome. It's just a little bit here, but... I mean, yeah, I got the entire wave, which um, we got a Iron Man, which is the, like, the Iron Man doesn't come with the Build-A-Figure piece. It's, like, one of those figures that are, like, exclusives or, like, the rarest. We got the Iron Man. Then we got the Ultron right here, which I know a lot of people weren't excited because I know a lot of people, uh, I mean, it wasn't necessary because I 
Nobody wanted another Ultron because, you know, they released too many Ultrons, so nobody was excited. We got Ultron. Just put this Iron Man here, uh, right there. We got the Stealth Iron Man, which nobody even cared about. We just got that. And then we got the Holographic, Hologram Iron Man. We got the Iron Heart. And we got the Vault Scarsman, which I think this figure is pretty cool. And then last but not least, we got the Dark Star, which I'm really excited about. Uh, if you were planning on building your uh, on building your Winter Guard team, you need these figures or some Major and Dark Star because if you want to build that team, you're going to need these figures. Also, you're going to need the Red Guardian and the Crimson Dynamo, although he's not in the right costume. But, I mean, I mean it's just Crimson Dynamo. So, uh, we got the entire wave here. I'm only going to be re reviewing one figure, and this and that figure is the Iron Man, the uh, modular Iron Man. I'm going to be reviewing this figure in this review, but the rest of these I'll be doing reviews on separate videos. So I'm going to put these away. Got the entire set. I'm just going to put this shit away here so we can check this guy out. Let's see if I can grab this shit. Oh, God. Oh, I'm sorry. Put it down there. Okay, so we're going to be checking out the modular Iron Man first. I, I feel like uh, this Iron Man is going to be pretty cool because I know a lot of people wanted this Iron Man in their collection. So, yeah, uh, without further ado, I'm just going to stop wasting you guys' time and we're going to take a closer look at the box and we're going to check this guy out. Okay, so we got the figure here. I got to say, this figure looks pretty fantastic in my opinion. Uh, looks similar to the Iron Man 2020, but I mean, I just, you know, it's just really similar. But here we got the Iron Man figure. We got the standard Marvel Legends series packaging right here with the Ursa Major Build-A-Figure wave at the top there. So we got a picture of the modular Iron Man as long as the just a mirror image. On the top, we got this Iron Man symbol, which looks pretty cool. On the bottom, it's just, you know, bullshit. And then we got the Iron Man modular by Hasbro. And back there, we got the Iron Man figure, uh, well, just a comic shot, and then we got the bio, and then we got the rest of the figures in this wave. We got, you know, all of them, which I showcased, and then we got to the Ursa Major Builder figure wave. I was looking forward to this one, but we'll check them out after we review all of these. And you know what, guys? Stay tuned, because I'm actually going to review all of these in the same day, so expect all your notifications to fucking pop up, because all these notifications, you know, they're going to be super cool once I review all of these, but they're going to be cool. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's the standard Marvel Legends packaging, so I'm going to go ahead and read the bio for you guys. It says, a dazzling technolo techno technological achievement, the modular suit allows Tony Stark to reconfigure reconfigure subsystems like boots gloves helmets and scanners on the fly which looks pretty cool uh can't wait to check this guy out he does not come with a builder figure piece because he's one of those like figures that are like in like the rarest figures i gotta say and this box is really dusty but um i mean yeah uh so let's go ahead and check this guy out and see how cool he actually is And here we have the modular Iron Man out of the package. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the accessories. So here are the hands that flew off during the packaging scene. Looks pretty cool. Similar to the ones that came with the zombie Iron Man. They're both fisted hands. So if you want to have your fisted Iron Man in your collection, then these are going to work good for you. Then next we got the blast effects. And uh, it's just the same old blast effects. It's just that they have like some, you know, some dirt on it. Some, I think that's a duster. If that's dust, I don't know, but it looks pretty cool. Oops. They're pretty rubbery and just, you know, the cooling break. But those are the things that he comes with. And now we're going to take a closer look at the figure. So here is the Iron Man. 
a nice a nice representation of the uh, Marjorie Iron Man as we saw in the comics. Although I never read the comics, but I mean it's pretty cool. I just gotta say this mold looks works really perfectly. I thought it was gonna be a straight up repaint of another Iron Man, but it, I mean it looks like it's not the case at all. But this figure is pretty cool. I love the uh, metallic red that they give on him. You know the helmet looks pretty badass. Kind of looks like an Iron Iron Man Mark One helmet, doesn't it? That's crazy. But he has the black guys right there, the gold face on the side of his helmet, and you got some other parts, you know, painted metallic red. Then we got the um, the arc reactor, which is painted gold, which I thought that was pretty strange. They should have painted it. Wait, I think it was gold in, in the. Yeah, it was gold, so never mind. Uh, we got the metallic red armor up here. This looks pretty nice. The back. There's a little some scuffs back there, but that's okay. Looks pretty cool. Then we got the gauntlets, which I do call them the gauntlets because they're gold. So you can see that there's some gold right there and metallic red. And there's the, the holes where the uh, blast effects can go in there. The, f the legs are pretty cool. I do love the sculpted details that they put on here, although it's not painted. The only paint that this guy is gold and red, but I do love the details and the sculpting that they put on this guy. Uh, the You can see the, some of the golden parts on this, on this guy. The knees, pretty good. They actually, like, kind of, you know, they kind of dry brushed them a little bit with, like, a brown paint or, like, a bronze. I don't know. And there is the Iron Man feet, which I guess if you wanted, like, maybe if you wanted, you could actually put, like, the blast effects in the feet and you know you can have them flying but you know that's that you can do that also but I gotta say this figure is pretty cool uh, although he's just you know a cool Iron Man which you know a lot of us should have a lot of Iron Man's which you know in the collection but I feel like this Iron Man is gonna be uh, really cool next to this wave and uh, let's just look at this figure it's just pretty nice and uh, yeah and there's the nice Tony Stark ass but yeah that's the figure pretty cool and as far as the articulation let me just move the accessories off to the side the articulation on Iron Man is just pretty basic which you would see on a Marvel Legends figure the head can move side to side it can't look up that much but just a little bit I mean it's pretty cool that you can actually swift the head around the arms can go out like so they can go outward but it's pretty stiff so I mean if you just wanted uh, let's see the arms can actually go out but that little armor piece is blocking it he has a swivel at the muscles at the bicep he has double jointed elbows which surprisingly are very pinless they're pinless on both legs and the knees which is super awesome the hands uh, can also bend like so like that you know you can have him go like like that which is pretty cool then he has the ab crunch looks pretty well it clicks like that and the arms can go out like so, swivel at the bicep, uh, bend at the elbow like so. Uh, he has a twist at the waist, which is pretty movable. Uh, he has a thigh rotation, uh, double jointed knees, and the swivel at the feet. If I could just move them, but they're pretty stiff right now. But yeah, you can get this guy in a lot of cool poses if you want it, just like an Iron Man figure would. Just use your imagination, go crazy. You can pose him fighting some of the villains and stuff. Let me just clean this shit right here. But pretty cool. It's a pretty cool that you can actually do it. But as far as the figure, I think it's pretty cool. Although might some fans might get upset because, you know, we're getting a lot of Iron Mans in the collection. But the entire or some major build a figure wave is just, you know, nothing but Iron Mans. But only some figures. But, you know, most of them are Iron Man figures, which people, like just, you know, just a crappy repaint of Iron Man. Just a reap tool. But... It's pretty cool that we get to have this guy in the collection, even though if you don't want there are some major build a figure wave because he doesn't come with a build a figure piece, this perfect might be good for you. And if he's just one of those, you know, like one of those people who just want to collect just for fun, like me, then, you know, just get this figure just for once and for all. But you get, I'm going to get this guy in a pose real quick. Um, my push up. Oh, I, I think, I think I have the perfect pose for him. Maybe we just if if I if I could just bend the elbow. There we go. Yes, it works. Okay, so maybe just you know do that, and then we're just gonna pop this hand off. Just give it a give it a soft pull. Don't give it a rough pull. Just gonna give it a really soft pull. It's really stiff right now, but there we go. It's pretty good that you can do it. And then you're gonna get the other hand here and just peg it in like so, like that. You know. Like that, get a blast effect and just, you know, 
and sort it right in his hand. And there we go. That's the pose that I'm going to pose my Iron Man in the shelf. He's go, oh, he's going to look pretty cool. Just, oh, that's badass. Just, oh, look at that. That's actually really cool. Although it doesn't really line up that much, but I guess you could just bend the elbows and stuff. But I'm just going to do... Oh, wait. I, oh, oh, I forgot to mention. These gauntlets on the legs can also rotate like that, too. Why didn't I, why didn't I see that? Oh, it's probably because I don't pay attention to the figures, but still pretty cool. Nice Iron Man. This this guy is just perfect, so man, just just look at this. Even though he doesn't come with a builder figure piece, because I know the rest of them do, but let me just look at that. Super cool, really nice Iron Man. Just check that out. That is fucking badass, dude. This figure is just awesome. But uh, anyway, I, uh, that's basically it, I guess. You know, just a standard, you know, Iron Man. You know. It's kind of loose, you know, because the, the waist is kind of floppy, so you, you kind of bobble him, but, you know, that's the Iron Man. Let's see, get on a nice pose, but there we go. Uh, that's the modular Iron Man, and uh, I gotta say, this figure is just perfect for just a rare figure in the collection, and it's gonna work also good as a figure. But anyway, uh, I mean, technically it is a figure, but it's gonna go good in your collection, because I know this guy is just gonna look good. And, uh, yeah, that was it. So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss a new video every time it comes out. Share with your friends. Subscribe to my channel because it really helps me a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.